This is the story of a jungle in Sundarban where winter was at its peak now. All the birds were making their nest. But Kalu Crow and his wife Mena neither wanted to live a happy life nor were they letting others live in happiness. Whichever bird was trying to build its nest, they used to go and find some of the other defects in their nest so that they would have to make their nest once again. One day, Tony Bird was making its nest. Then Kalu and his wife took out all the sticks from its nest and broke his nest. Kalu brother and Mena, why did you break my nest? Winter conditions are worsening in the jungle. You are not making your own house and you broke my nest. I will make my nest once again, but make your own nest till it's time. Otherwise, you will have to suffer the most. Yes, yes, whenever we have to suffer, we shall suffer. Don't worry about us. And start making your nest once again, telling us what to do. Hm. Tony Bird once again started building its nest. Kalu and his wife fly away from there. The next day, some birds were sitting together and talking. The black crow and his wife indeed disturb us a lot. They do not let us live in peace. They are not building their own nests and not letting us build our own. Both of them are evil. Ha uh ha, -huh, but you don't worry. Time will punish them. Winter is getting worse day by day. Whatever it is, we have our homes at least. They do not even have one. They will die out of cold. You both are right. We have to store our food because the cold is increasing gradually. We should not fly in winters. Yes, from tomorrow we will go to the other jungle and we will gather as many fruits as we can from there. The next day all the birds fly to the other forest and gather as many fruits as they can. Kalu Crow comes to know about this. He tells his wife. Now we have to store food because one should not fly in winters. Oh dear, I'm thinking I shall make friendship with these birds. Then you can go into the nest and steal their food. Ah, that's a good idea. We need not have to work hard and the food can be also arranged easily. The next day, Mena goes to the nest of the other birds and begs forgiveness from them. Tony, please forgive me. I broke your nest. I will not make such a mistake again. Please forgive me. Oh ho, how did Mena get wise today? What do you want? Tell me. You are not that innocent as you are looking. Tell me what you want. No greed. I just made one mistake. So please forgive me for once at least. Alright. We can pardon one mistake. But not for the second time. If you make a mistake even for a bit next time, it will not be good. Gradually, the conditions in the jungle were getting worse. Mena, with his sweet talks, trapped almost all the birds. She used to go to their nests every day and talk to them. On the other hand, Kala used to fly into the other birds' nest and stole food gradually. One day, Lucy was sleeping in her house because she was unwell. Kalu quietly flew into her house and started stealing her food. And all of a sudden, a utensil fell off the crow's mouth. Lucy woke up and saw that Kalu had a plate in his hands where there was food. What are you doing here? You and your wife will not give up your bad means. This is why you had asked for our pardon, so that you can steal our food, so that you don't have to work hard a little and have food for free. Nothing like that. In fact, your food had been scattered and I only picked it. Take your food and forgive us. It was a mistake. Lucy went and told this to every bird around. And Mena was driven away by every house. And nobody pardons them and everyone stops talking to them. One day it was very cold. All the birds flew into their nests. But Kalu and his wife were shivering in cold sitting on the branch of a tree. We have committed a great blunder. Could have been better if we had built our own nest. Now we are shivering in cold while other birds are enjoying in their cozy nest. <laughs> oh yes, you are very right. I am feeling very cold. What will we do now? Due to extreme cold, Mena started falling sick. 
and then it started snowing and because of that Mena started feeling very cold and she had very high fever. Kalu went to every bird's house to seek for help but nobody came forward to help them. And then tired he went to Tony Bird's house. Tony, due to severe cold, the condition of my wife is deteriorating. Please help us, something dreadful may happen. I had told you both earlier. Do some hard work and make your nest. You did not listen to me and then you were liars. Who knows, this may be another lie. Get away from here. Kalu Crow started crying and he folded his hands and told Tony. We have committed lots of offenses till date. But today we need your help earnestly. Please, please help us. Tony Bird felt merciful seeing Kalu Crow's tears and gave shelter to Crow and Mena. And she gave the best care to Mena for the whole night. She gave her the best care that she could and Mena's fever came down. The next day morning when Mena woke up, she told Tony Bird, Tony, you're very good. Till today we have been doing such bad things to you. Still, you saved my life. I will never forget this help of yours. After that day, the crow and Mena changed their ways. And Mena and Tony became the best of friends. Kalu, with the help of his wife Mena, made a beautiful nest for themselves. And all the birds in the jungle started staying with them very happily. We learn from this story that we should not waste our time. Otherwise, time teaches us its value.